hurt. I, uh... I must have hit my head, but I'll... I'll live. Wait here. I don't have to listen to you. I don't know you. I just saved your life. Do me a favor and wait here. Who are you? You know, if I have to count all the times that I saved your life, you saved my life. Long way to go, and we don't want to be traveling at night. This will have to do. They got lights, which means they might have power. I'll look around, see if I can't find a generator. Is tell me your name.
Don't worry. They're not gonna hurt you. Or anyone, for that matter. What do you think happened to them? I'm not sure. Whatever happened, it happened a long time ago. You want me to move them? Please. not done yet. You can thank me for her proper burial by serving as a warning. You stand watch over her and us. Show the monsters outside that there are monsters inside. Generator should last us through the night. I'll stand watch. How did you know? Know what? That my memory was foggy. I never... No, when you found me, you said that if you were the one with the foggy memory, that you'd want some company. How did you know? You hurt your head. I assumed. Hell of an assumption to make based on a little blood. You'll need to learn to ration. We don't have much left. Oh, I'm sorry. If I'd have known, I would have... It's okay. You needed it. Good night. Can I ask you something about what happened? I can't remember before you found me, but I know deep down it was different. Tell me the world. How did the world end? It didn't. It just changed. Like everything, things change and you have to change with them. Adjust, carry on. Make the decisions that keep you going. No matter how difficult those decisions may be. The wise men at their end know dark is right. Because their words have forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. I think I was a teacher. Try to sleep. Maybe you'll remember more tomorrow. Wait. Remember, my name, my name is Sarah. Good night, Sarah. I had to make a call. 
what call? We're partners, remember? We take care of each other, that's how it's always been. But I found her, see. I found Sarah. I don't believe it. After all this time, now you find her? How? Come on, boss, you gotta tell me. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Where do you think you're going? She's losing it, boss. If she starts screaming, she's gonna give away our location, and then the monsters will come. She's dangerous. I can sew her mouth shut if you want. Sarah. I'm gonna eat your face after I carve you up into two. Whoa, 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 Let her go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you go sneaking up behind Tommy like that. Bad things will happen. That woman means a lot to me. She smells like raspberries. Let her go. She means a lot to you. Back inside. You don't trust me. How can I trust you? In this world, you gotta choose to trust someone. Take it. I trust you. Did I miss anything? Come on, boss, fill me in. Was it another monster? Ugh, I knew she was trouble. Shut up, Caitlin. First she eats all our food. Who knows what else she's capable of? Oh, good, the crazy woman has her gun. I want some answers. Okay. Why did you tell him I was so important to you? What am I to you? Everything. You're everything to me. I don't know you. I've never met you before today. That's not entirely true. What are you talking about? Tell me what's going on! She's freaking out again, boss. And what the hell is she? The name's Caitlin, and I've been Joseph's friend here for a lot longer than you have. Give her some time, Caitlin. I'm just saying she should drop the whole bitch attitude. The doll. She called you Joseph. Yes. That's your name? God, Jay, is the bitch deaf and stupid? Caitlin! I'll be quiet. I knew a Joseph. It meant a lot to me. I know that. He was your husband? Yes. Uh, no. He... my husband. Do you remember your house?
Joseph? You had cancer. The treatments weren't working. You were leaving me and I couldn't stop you. I remember like it was yesterday. Hey. You're so beautiful. Margaret will join me for cards later today. I really do miss her laugh. Margaret? Yes. She's my friend, you know that. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten about Margaret. I watched as the nightmares took over. Joseph. I'm right here, baby. You need to save me, Joseph. Don't let me like this. Sir. Save me, Joseph. Promise me that you'll save me. I promise. Promise! I promise. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm here. He died the next morning. symbols we have. What are they? They help me find you. Bound us together. Forever. Mm. Never let me go. Welcome back to the land of the living.
Glad you're back, Joseph. Once you've recuperated, we can talk a lot. I found her, Ray. Sarah, I found her. She died five years ago when I found her. It's like she was new to the world. You've mentioned time anomalies before, but why now? Where was Sarah before? What's bringing you together now? Maybe I misread the translation, and the tattoos limit the spiritual coupling to space. Not like I'm complaining. And it would make for an interesting chapter of your book. Do you know where you guys are on the map? Yeah. As far as I can tell, here. But that means that you're heading? Northeast, to the ocean. And that is going to take you precariously close to head territory. It's the only way across, and the safest place I've found for us. For her? Safest place for her, you mean? Yeah, that's what I said. If you hug the forest alone, you might be able to slip by without getting noticed. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. You should get some rest. There's something else. The Grey Lady, she made contact again. The Grey Lady? What happened? She scared the shit out of me, is what happened. That's four sightings out of the last five trips down. You think she's got a lock on you? Not sure. But... What are you not telling me, Joseph? She kind of threw me. You mean she physically affected you? She threw me across the room. Great lady has just always been a nuisance, a boogeyman. But if you're telling me that she's becoming more... This is too dangerous, Joseph. Too dangerous, Ray? I've died once a week for the past year. You've administered the last rites to me, what? 50 times? I know what I've done. I found it. That's all that matters. And the risk? I made a promise. She's dealing with it. So you haven't told her the whole truth then? Never came up. I didn't think it mattered. So it doesn't matter that you're not actually dead? Do you think Sarah would want that for you? That she'd let you keep doing this to yourself? It's not her choice. It's not yours either. I'm going dark again tonight.
What is going on here? Is that what you think? <laughs> Why are you here? And do not lie again. Like I said, I just want to... No! Lies. Lies again. I have seen you. Our children are dying. And you want. You watch them go. May I ask, when you watch them go, what do you see? Nothing. Why are you expecting to see anything else? I don't know. I'm not sure. You are wounded, my friend. Yet I. Betray the strength you want with the weakness that you are. You have come to seek my help. Do not lie. Yes. You seek the answer to a question better left on us. You seek death. Yes. Drink. What is this? The answer to your question. as a Parks and Vale Associates. Are you ready? Always. I 
Christ said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shalt thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. I commend thee into the arms of our Lord of earth, preserver of all mercy and reality, and the Father creator. We give him glory as we give you into his arms and everlasting peace, to be prepared to return into the dense reality of God the Father, creator of the world. How could I forget? That was a lot of fun. Fun? I think you and I remember the valley very differently. Maybe. But the valley was where I met you. Remember, you're close to Had territory. Don't fire your gun or they'll hear you. And make sure you have shelter before nightfall. It's not safe here at night. I'll be fine. Okay. And that's that. Go, get out of here. I wouldn't have found Sarah without your help. I'm indebted. There is one thing. I want you to find my parents.
choice it. Oh, no, please. We can't just do nothing. Those men are bad men. If they find us, they will take us to the hat, whose territory we're currently trespassing. And trust me when I say that you do not want that. Stay down and stay quiet. And you made a bad choice to go in the hat's property. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Let him go. Hey, you! Get over here! You stay with them. I'll follow. Shut up, kid. She's right. Don't scream. Take your family and get out of here. Thank you. Quiet. Thank you. Just go. Thank you. Go. There's one more. I think we made a terrible mistake. We shouldn't have gotten involved. Joseph, I just saved your life. Great isn't temporary. So what do we have here? Morgan? You had some food, some tools, not much. He was carrying some kind of spear gun. And this. Hmm. Let me know as soon as they turn up. Or you find them. You uh, wouldn't happen to know anything about my missing patrol now, would you? We'll see you now. Joseph, so nice to see you again. Oh, and you've brought a friend. What's your name? Sarah. It's a pleasure, Sarah. Are you hungry? What's mine is yours. Thank you. Joseph, sit. Eat, drink. The food isn't poisoned, you know. Paranoid as ever. There's one thing about you, Joseph. You're consistent. <laughs> Quite an appetite. Looks like my man found you just in time. When did you last eat? A couple days. So, what brings you to my territories? Just passing through. Really? Where to? Oh, it's a secret. I like secrets. That's why I like you. So dark and mysterious.
Okay. Thank you, Brill. You really should try this meat, Joseph. It's so tender, perfectly cooked, worth dying for. I'm fine. We haven't talked about your tribute as of yet. I get anything I want here. I routinely have and do. I ask you to not make me do what I will, if you make that request. Are you trying to intimidate me? Is that a threat? Not a threat. I can see you like her. I rescind my request. Tomorrow, you will leave here. You will not come back. Good night. Pleasure. Stay the night. He's a little eccentric, but don't mistake his charisma for compassion. We're not safe here. He took our weapons, our supplies. We're defenseless. We've been traveling for days. We finally have a decent bed. Is it too much to ask for one night with my husband?
Ray, what's happening to me? Stop the bleeding. You'll have a scar, but... So, what were you thinking? Joseph? I don't remember doing it. You don't remember taking a knife to your face? You're lucky you didn't lose your eye. It was the knife I used to carve the markings in Viserra. I'm worried, Joseph. This isn't right. You can't keep doing this to yourself. It's affecting you too much, and you're not in control. I know it appears. It appears? Joseph, you tried to kill me. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <sighs> Look, I know you don't want to hear this right now, but even you've said it before. But what if it's all inside your head? When you go dark, you're someplace between life and death. What if your brain is filling in all the blanks? After everything you've seen. Heard. From you. Yes. From me. We're in this together. Joseph. How do you know it's real? It's real. Yes? I'm looking for Mrs. Bennett. I'm Mrs. Bennett. What if you're wrong? If we are wrong. What's this about? Mr. Bennett, you don't know me. And this is all going to sound a little weird, but... Does the name Caitlin mean anything to you? Well, anyhow, I just wanted to tell you that Caitlin says she's okay. She wanted you both to know that. this long for us to come to terms with the fact that we're not having children. And now you show up. I didn't. We were going to name her Caitlin. How could you possibly know that? Get off my property before I call the police. Do you believe in angels, Mrs. Bennett? Or your daughter, Caitlin? She's my angel. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. He came and found them sleeping. Simon, are you asleep, he said. Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. The Gospel of the Lord. In the shadows of the garden, we find a place of unfulfilled dreams of broken promises. Faced with what he knows will be a horrific death, Jesus asks his apostles the simplest of all tasks, to simply stay awake. Not to help him fight, not to help him escape, but to simply stay awake and keep him company in his last moments. It's so easy to wage war on behalf of something, on behalf of an ideal, but to simply stand guard and witness an end Sometimes faithfulness fails. Sometimes the night's cries are far too soothing a song. That their embrace fades away all commitment, 
and that all the best intentions are lost in a blanket of fear and tightness. Stay awake. That's all he asks of us. Stay awake and stand watch. Be gentle. My husband. They took him. Your husband's gone. Honey, no one leaves the pet. It'll be okay. You're with us now. The hat has claimed you. Like us, you're his now.
But here's the rub. You crossed me. You challenged me. And these people, they need to know the rules. The rules don't change now. The rules don't change, never. There's no crossing the hat! No! No? She says no! What says you? You should be terrified right now, but you're not. What's your dirty little secret? We're already dead. That's it? How utterly disappointing. I've known that little truth for a long, long time. Knowledge, power, that important 
piece of knowledge will make me a king among men. You can give yourself freely to me. I could make you my queen. We could together rule wherever the hell it is we are. If it's your way, eternity can be a long time. caches. Load up. Prepare an all-out assault on the hat's lair. Get her back. Job. She needs me, right? I have to go back. You can't. I'll do it without your help. You can't, Job. Not this time. Why? What did you do, Ray? You're destroying yourself, Joseph. I did what I had to. Where did you put it, Brent? Where did you put it? Do you know what you've done? I'm saving your life. I had your formula analyzed. You're ingesting a drug called scoplamine. How dare you? Better known as devil's breath. Scoplamine is known to cause hallucinations, memory loss, and it's part of the compound that you're taking. You're not well, Joseph. You're sick. And I want to help you. I'm sorry that you feel that way. But Sarah needs me. And I will not let her down. What are you doing? Joseph, I've already called my friends at the hospital. They'll be here any minute. Look, we're gonna get you help. All of us, together. You think I'm insane, is that it? No. But I think you're not well. Now, I should have been a better friend. You helped me. Should sure. It doesn't matter anyway. All you've done is prevented me from coming back. Joseph. Not from dying. No, 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 wait, wait! How do you know you'll go back to the same place? If you take your own life in this manner, you might end up somewhere different. Wherever it is you go, where you've been, there's a process. But this? This? This is a leap of faith. Drop the gun. Now! You don't have to do this.
for cards later today. And then I do this for a lot. do this. You know that, right? I see the way you look at her. I want someone to look at me that way one day. And besides, you said energy can't be destroyed, right? It just finds another place to exist. Name another spark plug you know like me. You're one of a kind, Caitlin. Damn right. Caitlin, thank you. For everything. Just like you, I never had a choice. Because I love you. 
always have. Enough of this pussy shit. Let's get your wife back. Yo, dipshit! Honestly, over here.
You're a persistent fucker, aren't you? Joseph! Your wife and I had some quiet time. And she let me in on a few things while you were six feet under. Most pertinent would be, we're all dead. Wherever the hell we are, we have long since shuffled off the mortal coil. That is a fact that you know, she knows, and I know. Less pertinent would be that I was the best lay your wife ever had. I've had my fun, and since we're all dead anyway. No! Please, don't. What? Why are you afraid? Why should you care if I put this imaginary bullet into her imaginary head? I do whatever I want, whenever I want. Because there are no repercussions, ever. There's no magic man up in the sky judging good and bad. Wherever the hell we are, there's no God here. And in his absence, I know. Just let her. No! <gasps> and now for the silence. So you're the hat. In all honesty, I thought you'd be taller. Last chance, leave my friends alone. I'm warning you. Are you actually threatening me? What the fuck? Oops, looks like the hat lost his hat. Although now I see why you wear it. You should probably put it back on. Who do you think you are? Me? Oh, I'm the bomb. Boom.
here. Mr. Morgan, you murdered a priest. You exhumed your wife's body and carved symbols in her flesh. Where else do you think you should be? It says here they have you on haloperidol shots. Pretty strong stuff. They're for my hallucinations. We both know they're not hallucinations. Are you lost? I don't know. I think I'm looking for someone. Everyone's looking for someone here. We can live together if you want. I know you lost your son, and then your wife. I know how hard that can be, the places it takes you. I lost my daughter. I'm Sarah. Mr. Morgan, what you've accomplished. Will you help me? Where am I? We should get moving. Long way to go. Horseman.